If your computer is running into problems and let's say that you want to fix out some errors or stop some services, then you can actually go over here on to the Cortana search and press MS config. So what this does is it brings up the system configuration app, so which you can open up usually. Uh, I'd like to run that as an administrator so that I can access a lot of the things right over here. So now over here, you can see that there are tabs right here. So there's the general tab. And here right now is set to normal startup. So if your computer is not loading up well, or it takes time to load and you want to uh, start it up and see um, some if there's any problems, you want to fix it out, you can go to diagnostic startup. So what that does is it loads the basic drivers which is required to start up your computer that it holds up any uh, other extra services. Another thing you can do is do a selective startup as well. Like you can only load the system services or only load the startup items right over here. Check that out right here. And that'll open up the computer in a safe mode like environment. Let me just get this back to a uh, normal setup because I don't want to do anything. Over here on the right side, there's the boot setup right over here. So right now I only have Windows 10 on my computer. So if you have other operating system installed like you know, Linux dis distributions or even Android, then what you can do is you can select this out and choose the default operating system over here as well. So boot setup can all be set up right over here. Another thing you can set up is the services right over here. And these are the services that are currently running on my computer. So usually we don't know what services are essential and what are not. So usually what I like to do is hide all the Microsoft services. So usually the Microsoft services are the ones you want to keep on running because they are usually from Windows itself. So you can select hide Microsoft services and these are all the other services which are actually running. So I can disable all of them and that might speed up my computer in case uh, some of them are hogging up my memory. You can see right here that Autodesk desktop app is running so I can turn this off. Adobe services, I can turn that off right over there. So just like that, I can turn everything off right there, but it will, um, affect the services that you use on other applications. So depending on what application you need or not, you need to keep some of these services on. The other portion here is the startup. So uh, in the previous version of Windows, the, the startup was actually controlled uh, from right here. But in Windows 10, you have to open up Task Manager right over here and the startup can be accessed right over here. So you can view my lesson on Task Manager to learn more about that. And over here on the right hand, most side you get the tools, so you get the tool name right over here and you can access various registry edit editors. So you want to access them, you want to launch it, launch the registry editors. So this is a much more if you are an advanced user and you know what you're doing. So usually, unless you know what you're doing, you don't want to mess up with anything as such. So all of the advanced controls can be accessed from right over here, which lets you change even the system files according to your needs. So Windows, uh, Windows provides a lot of things for you to actually work around with and, uh, and then customize just like that. So that is how you can access MS config. And one thing to keep in mind is that MS config is very, very crucial uh, to, con to solve the problem. But if you use it incorrectly, it might give you problems as well. So only um, access it and use it when, if you know what you're doing. Otherwise, it's okay to just leave that out. And that is how you can use MS config in uh, Microsoft Windows 10. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.